Y'all ready? Have some fun? This is good stuff. All right. Well, good morning, and thank you for uh, joining, uh, joining us for this Workforce Development Strategic Planning Forum as part of the North Carolina New Schools Project Vision 2015. I'm Sint Marshall, for those of you who don't know, and I'm the president of AT&T uh, North Carolina. We think possible. It's my pleasure to serve as one of your hosts today, yes. uh, together with my good friend, Lou Ebert, president and CEO of the North Carolina Chamber. Lou, wave at everybody. Okay, I'll see Lou up here. It's my bag. Uh, we, we are both pleased to be here with you today and to serve as moderators of this very important discussion uh, that we're going to have, which greatly affects the future of our state. I often say what we're about uh, in this world of education is homeland security. Uh, the future of this great state and nation truly uh, is in our hands as it relates to uh, education. Uh, it has been my honor uh, to work with the North Carolina New Schools Project uh, team uh, to convene our panel of experts and presenters for uh, today to discuss a topic uh, that is very, very important to me and one I care very deeply about. And that's how we can best prepare our students, our children, for the 21st century workforce. Uh, while focusing on the strategies and tools that they will have, uh, that will have the most enduring value for the teachers and student act, uh, success. Now, I am encouraged to see so many people here, community leaders, business leaders, uh, educators, uh, because I truly believe we have to work together in order to work on the pipeline. And when I say pipeline, I'm talking about the pipeline that I get to tap into uh, as a business leader uh, in terms of my future employees. Education is something that is just not important to me personally, uh, because you've heard, some of you have heard me say before, a good education, a good public education literally uh, saved my life. But it's also important to me as a parent. Uh, I have uh, three teenagers, uh, so I'm very concerned and very involved in what's happening in education in this state. Uh, but also as a business leader, uh, it's very important to me because these, uh, these, these young people that are in these classrooms, uh, these are my future employees, my future customers, and for all of us, these are our uh, neighbors. Uh, just last Monday, uh, my company made a big announcement, and so I'm pretty proud of uh, the message that we are sending around education. Uh, we have a very strong panel of experts and presenters here uh, today. Uh, you can see all of our uh, panelists over here and some of our presenters up front. Let me say it right now. Thank you so much uh, for taking the time to be with us. Uh, today. I know you have a lot of other things going on, and it just really shows uh, your uh, commitment. Uh, we believe that the conversations we'll, we will have today will be rich, they will be engaging and transformative. So, our presenters have been asked to respond to two essential questions, uh, which are also in your program book. Does everyone have a program, program book? On page two. The questions that uh, will drive our discussion today. The first one. For more than a decade, leading research and economic development organizations have pointed to the essential skills required for success in the modern workplace. How can schools affiliated with the North Carolina New Schools Project consistently graduate all students, not just some, but all students equipped with these skills? What experience in the classroom and beyond, it's not just the classroom, but what experience in the classroom and beyond will prepare all students whether they are pursuing a four-year degree or a two-year degree of credentialing. Second question, the debate, oh, and I just, Tony, I don't know how, why y'all set this one up. I love this question. I think we're gonna have a good time on this one. The debate about at which age a child should choose a career pathway remains ever-present. Should the goal of academies and thematically focused schools be to prepare student for, students for specific careers or to more broadly engage and motivate students with explicit connections to the adult world. I think we're going to have a good time on that one. So we're asking our presenters to keep their presentations to no longer than 10 minutes. We'll have a staff member who will give each presenter a signal, so we are sure to have time for each presentation and discussion with the panelists. And so I think that signal will be nice and bold, so if you, you'll know exactly uh, how many minutes you have left. Uh, those of you uh, in the audience, and thank you for being here, will also have a chance to offer your recommendations and feedback on these questions and on what you hear today. Uh, you have a hard copy feedback form, so did everybody get a form? Okay, you have a hard copy feedback form 
And we have also emailed you a link uh, to a Google document in which you can enter your recommendation and feedback directly uh, on your tablet or smartphone, your AT&T smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> so now I would like to introduce my colleague, my good friend, Lou Ebert, uh, to give some opening remarks and to introduce today's speakers and panel members. Thank you so much for being here to help us in this Homeland Security work today. 